Dana White said that uh, he believes you could take down Floyd Mayweather in a street fight. All right, wait a minute. Let's, let's, let's clarify this whole right, thing, okay. okay? I got all the boxing guys going crazy on me. So this is how this went down. <laughs> Joe Rogan was on ESPN. They asked Joe Rogan, what do you think would happen if Ronda Rousey fought Floyd Mayweather? And Joe Rogan said, depends on where the fight was. If the fight was in the street or the fight was in the cage, Ronda wins the fight, right? So they asked me the same question. And I said, obviously, if she blocks Floyd, Floyd would tear her up in a boxing match. In a street fight or in an MMA fight, not only would she beat him, she would hurt him badly. Dear women, y'all better stop playing with these men. That little girl thought she was playing. That boy slapped her so hard he made her drawers come out. Huh? Men, don't you never put your hands on a woman. Women, huh? Don't you never put your hands on no man. Stop playing. The greatest American alive. I almost changed my mind. I almost didn't even want to react to that video because, like, he hit that girl so hard. I was like, man, this is highly offensive. Yeah. I could only imagine having <clears throat> the shit slapped out of me, you know, like, and having it go viral and everyone seeing that happen to me. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, my goodness. Neck turned and all. Oh, my gosh. But then I wanted to have, like, that conversation because we're pushing back against gender roles, and that's making things very difficult mm -hmm. to have interpersonal uh, relationships. Just based on that whole dynamic, I knew the girl and the look in her face. She knew that she probably shouldn't do what she was about to do. She was like, nah, this is a bad idea. Mm -hmm. But she was so committed, like, I can do whatever I want to do. And when she, <laughs> it, and she did it. She went up there. She put that hand on that. And, you know, I think people would argue that position. They would say she she didn't hit him that hard. She just touched his face. But that man, he had already made the commitment in himself. He was like, I dare you. If you come put your hands on me. Ah. Oh, she did touch him? Yeah, in the beginning. Like, she walked up. Like, that's why the black girl was trying to stop her. Oh. And so, once she got into his face, mm -hmm. she hit him like that. And he hit her like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that young man laid the thunder thong on that girl. I was like, goodness gracious, you know? He had a whole teammate. The girl that was part of his team, they was wearing the same color and everything. What, the red? Yeah, the chick that was, like, trying to talk to the, you know what I'm saying? She should have been the one that... She had a point to prove, and she proved her point. My, I was a tomboy growing up, and I had to learn very early. If I'm going to horseplay with the boys, I have to know that, you know what I mean? They stronger. If I if I get hurt, I was playing with the boys. Like, did someone have to teach you this? Yes. Someone had to tell you, hey, you shouldn't be wrestling with him because you might get hurt. Someone had to yeah. tell you that? Yeah. Because I it started in the pool, you know. And I, I was getting dunk. Oh, those boys was dunking this, and I started crying. And my sister was like, "But I'm saying, but you was getting here. dunked. Like by getting dunked, you didn't know. Hey, maybe I can't handle this situation. Right, just, <laughs> right. As a, as a man, mm -hmm. I firmly know. Like my entire life, if you go pick on the guy that's bigger than you, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to fight that guy. Right. That's from that's from being. As soon as you have little toys. If you try to take that toy, you're going to have to fight for that toy. Do you want to fight for that toy? Yes yeah, or no? You would think it would be common sense, but when I say a tomboy... <laughs> I don't even mean common sense. I just mean objective reality. Right, but that objectivity is common sense. <laughs> that little girl in that video, the young man looked at her, licked his hand and said, if you come and touch me, girl, I'm finna... She should have stayed away. Yeah, she should have stayed away. He flared up and everything. That young man shouldn't have slapped that girl like that. I have to be clear, okay? Right. That young man should not have slapped that girl like that. That was right. absolutely positively fascinating. Right. He wasn't in danger. Oh, this this thing, danger. Uh, she she violated his boundaries. I'm I'm, I'm a fully his autonomous face. person. Mm -hmm. You came and physically touched me. That's that's assault. It's assault. It is. I think there's levels to that. Just like gun laws, right? Like if if it like that guy that latest video, the store just got robbed and he was walking past the man. He didn't do anything to the man, but he shot him anyway. What, what's the what's the uh, clip? What happened? The the store was getting robbed. This oh, man oh, was robbing and he the shot store. The, he shot the man and in the after back. he robbed him, he was the man was walking out, and the and man. Aaron, if if me and you are having dinner, mm -hmm. and I have my pistol on me, yeah, and someone comes and they rob us, mm -hmm. and they turn their back on me, I am downing that fool. But we didn't get robbed. I am downing that. We fool. were in the establishment that got robbed. I am downing that fool. I'm all for it. I get it as a person. As a as just a human being, mm -hmm. you violated me coming in this place, waving a, a weapon, right. trying to intimidate me. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For real. All right. Invading on my peace. Yeah. I think like this is objective reality. When you use any type of force to intimidate me, 
you can't tell me how much force I'm finna use against you. Mm -hmm. And I'm finna use all the force that God has given me to come and get your ass. I promise. Yeah. Energy, <laughs> energy meets the same energy. Yeah. Violation. Man. I do agree. Violation deserves demonstration. I saw that I clip agree. that you're referring to and I didn't like it. Yeah. I didn't like it. Man, the way they, the man shot him, it was very, it was, hey, I'm trained to do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, you in here playing erratic trying to get $30? All right. You just died for $30. <laughs> He took advantage of a free kill. Yeah. I Look, I do not think that people should be running around murdering folks. Like, yeah. I don't think that. At all. That's not what I'm saying. For sure. All I'm saying is I also don't think that people should be running around waving guns, pretending to, to rob places. Right. It wasn't even a real gun. Right. Or walking up and smacking people just because you feel like you can. I, I understand it completely. I just feel like when it... I know the type of power that I have. And when you have a po certain power, there's a responsibility. And if you know you're stronger than this individual, even though she is violating, there's a million other things you could have did. And there's a million other things that she could have done. Absolutely. Mutual combat, I believe. You know, if you strike me, that was a bad idea. It's not fair. It's not fair the game that you have to play, not only as a black person, but then as a black man. Like, unfortunately, in that situation, he's going to be the one getting the grunt of that responsibility. And it sucks that you have to educate these people on the type of unfair game that they have to play in. Domestic violence is a big issue. And yeah. it's not highly discussed. You know, the statistics, they vary because not everyone talks about being assaulted in a relationship. Right. Uh, the rules that we play by, these unspoken gender rules where a man should never touch a woman ever. Mm -hmm. I completely understand. Now, if that's the unwritten rule that we're all playing by, the other party must recognize that I am a fully grown male individual. Mm -hmm. Please act accordingly. And so, like, I've been I've been wrestling with this. When you have power over another person, when you're stronger than another person, yeah, it is your responsibility for me not to cause you any harm. Right. Be because I'm in a powerful position. Mm -hmm. Now, for women, for women right now specifically, if you understand that I have to restrain myself physically, the moment you use any type of combative or, or, or argumentative language, I'm disassociated. I, I, I disconnect yeah. mm -hmm. instantly. Yeah. Because, you know, I can't fight back. Yeah. Don't rattle my feathers. That's the ultimate disrespect. When you know that in reality, you should not be engaging in combative shit. No type of combat at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be arguing with me. You shouldn't be screaming at me. You shouldn't be ah, da, 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 da. Yeah. If you, if we're out and you saw a man talking to me like that, you would expect me to handle my situation. Mm -hmm. Like, why are you letting that man talk to you like that? Mm -hmm. right. Do something. Mm -hmm. But then in a romantic relationship, a woman tries to dominate a man and uh emasculate him and that's very whew. right that's a dangerous game and some of these women i don't even know if they're even aware <laughs> of why they have this cognizant this lack of cognizance <laughs> that makes them real makes them think that they can even step to a man in that manner because they know that they're supposed to be absolutely safe they understand that i'm supposed to protect you but you're also supposed to understand that this is a courtesy mm -hmm. i have to protect myself also Right. These situations are so intense and I want to handle them. I want to talk about them very delicately right? Uh, because uh, it's very sensitive. But simultaneously, we need to come back to reality. The amount of restraint that you have to have when you're dealing with a person who is weaker than you, who is trying to be ugly. It might be a horrible comparison, but when I play mm -hmm. with my little son, he's nine years old. Right. This is his bear, Edward, right? Eddie. He leaves him on the couch. And so my nine-year-old son, he likes to wrestle with me. And he starts going crazy and doing flips and hanging from my neck. Mm -hmm. I have to use so much restraint not to just snap his little ass because if I grab him and really pull him like I want to, you know, ah, daddy. Right, right. right. Uh -huh. And so when he's misbehaving, he's just trying to figure out his boundaries, but he's nine. And it's the exact same thing like uh, when you're doing like this this mental verbal sparring with a woman. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're supposed to know your boundaries. Like, what, why are you talking to me like that? The lack of consideration. Like, I think we were having a conversation a while ago about like, if people would just give some consideration towards each other, compassion, like. I, look, I really want to show this video. Yeah. Because that's what can happen. Mm hmm when there's a complete disconnect of personal space and boundaries mm -hmm. and you're messing with, you have no idea where this person's state of mind is. Nope. Yes, you do. That nigga did like this. Yeah. Right. She should have peeped <laughs> game. That, she has a lack of awareness on many levels. Cause that should have been an observation. Like, 
He's checked out. Let me stay away. Man, this dude has completely dumbed out. <laughs> he pulled the trigger on that hand. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he cocked that thing back like he was about to just dunk on her, huh? Right. Ah! Yeah, he already knew. He, this is not a safe place. Let me back up. And if she already got to touch him once, then she already won. Like, she should have just chilled. We need to have better conversations about how we interact, male and female. And it's not the same. Because videos like that show you that it's not the same. Yeah. <laughs> you show me a video of it going the other way of some woman just looking at a man and just just dunking on his ass. You show right. me that video, yes? Right. You ain't going to find that video. Let's behave accordingly <laughs> and have wonderful, uh, wonderful, healthy sexual relationships. No, you're not going to find that video. Man. No, you're not. I don't care if it's Ronda Rousey. The media does this crazy thing. I don't know if you remember this. Mm. Uh, they were talking about Ronda Rousey fighting Floyd Mayweather. They're like, man, you put Ronda Rousey in the ring with Floyd Mayweather, uh, with Floyd Mayweather, and she'll beat him up. Wow, I'm like, I didn't hear that conversation. It was, man, it was going on <laughs> on ESPN <laughs> on actual talk shows. I think the woman was probably she was probably eight and zero oh from arm bars or something. And they're like, she would just beat up Floyd Mayweather. Why would you play this game? This man is fifty and zero, oh, mm -hmm. one of the best boxers in the history of the world. Right. And you're saying some mediocre white woman fighter is going to go beat up? Stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They promote this thing. They promoted this on ESPN. You should be ashamed of yourself, ESPN. You got a whole. They they show the thing <laughs> about the Leah Thomas person. I can just say Leah Thomas person swimming mm -hmm. against people who don't have the exact same physical advantages. This six foot something person in that water destroying these young women mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and ESPN is promoting this like look isn't this so wonderful <laughs> and then when it plays out in real life and you got some right. young woman want to go and touch this person mm -hmm. and that per I'm saying person because as soon as you put gender on it right. you say oh that was a girl oh that was a boy mm -hmm. I mean that was a person who has autonomy and, bounder and boundaries mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she touched that human being and that human being cocked back and said never again right <laughs> I bet that was a valuable lesson for her. I mean, that's a valuable that's a valuable lesson lesson to all of the internet because that yeah. shit went viral. He slapped that girl to a million views. Let's go <laughs> get <million> it. <laughs> I wish that young girl that was standing in between them. I wish that like when she seen her, like she was trying to play her position by educating, the, you know, that person. And when she went started walking around, the, that girl was so smart. She put herself in the middle. She had her hands down to her side and said, "Listen." You better leave that boy alone. Yeah. And that girl said, hell, if the only way that she could have stopped her was to physically address the situation. Mm -hmm. Why am I put my hands on you for? And, and and that person wasn't dressed like the age that I feel like she is. We were talking about she's like in high school, right? I'm guessing she's in high school. But that dress, I, I saw, I that, saw dress that dress that she had on said more. That dress was like a little older of age. So she, I, I'm saying that to say, obviously, she thinks she's. I had peer I had peers in middle school who had children. They mm -hmm. had children at thirteen years old, and they weren't. It wasn't taken from them. You know, there were lots of young women when I was growing up were sexually active. Yeah, from thirteen to sixteen, I mean, they were smashing. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and me. And it makes them think that they grown because they had yeah. a baby. Once we turn into adults, all of a sudden. We don't have an honest conversation about what we were doing when we were kids. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I was fucking. Yeah. I was fucking girls who were 15, 16 years old. Well, I was 15, 16 years old. We mm -hmm. was engaged in sexual experience, mutual sexual experience, mutual sexual exploration. Mm -hmm. And now we're trying to like legislate things that are going to happen naturally. I don't know, man. This is very, <laughs> it's a very murky territory. As soon as you put a law on it, then everyone's, everyone just accepts it. Mm -hmm. You know, America put a law on sexuality and everyone just accepts it. They say, hey, a fully grown male individual can just call himself a woman, and that's okay. Right. That's the reality that we've created. And so when we start trying to have gender rules to constrain only heterosexual males, it's like, wait, 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 wait. What are we doing? Mm -hmm. All I got to do is say I'm a lady and I can play the game that you're playing? <laughs> Come on. Think about how crazy that is. Mm -hmm. For that young man, if you want to have a legal defense, when they come and ask you why'd you do it, just say, I'm a girl. Right. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's so crazy. And unfortunately, that has some Hey, he doesn't even have to lie. He could be like, at lunch, I sat there and I came to the realization that I'm a girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a girl on, it was a, it was a cat fight. It was mm -hmm. a girl on girl fight. Mental illness. Man, Goodness that black gracious. girl slapped the shit out that white girl. <laughs> That's the reality the that we- The black girl. <laughs> 
No. Hold on. I don't want to misgender the gentleman. I never met him. And so based on my eyes, I cannot just say that he's a man because he didn't confirm that he was a man based on the laws that we have right now. Let's play these games. Right. How do we want to play? You want right. to play for real? Let's play these huh? Games. I'm a 220 pound black woman. Come talk to me. Yeah, yeah. You want my phone number, huh? Mm hmm. What's up? That's what I identify with. Man, hit me, hit my cash app. Yeah. yeah. And you can't tell me that it's any different just based off of what I look like. How are we going to play these games? You want to play ugly games? You get nasty, nasty, nasty prizes. Mm hmm. And people just go with it. And just go with it. Like, I'm like, man, Don't stop decide playing. for themselves. Yeah. It's so pervasive. When you're not prepared for it, it just changes your whole. It's it's shocking. It is. It is shocking. Yeah. I ordered groceries yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. And so when I opened the door, I, I saw the name. And when I saw the face, they just didn't match. The, the name said Jamie. And so I'm expecting a Jamie. And it was a six foot one person that looked bigger than me. That had some type of breasts. Mm -hmm. I said, holy. <laughs> had all my bags, had big hands, hand, mm -hmm. hands bigger than my hands, had all my groceries. I had like three, three cases of soda, three 12 packs. Mm -hmm. He had them bad boy, that person, I don't know what the gender of this person was, yeah. had them sodas underneath his arm and had all the bags. <laughs> Where would you like me to put them? <laughs> I said, holy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see that type of person. Right. <laughs> Not with the name Jamie. You think it is some little, uh, <laughs> little fragile. They're challenging my objective reality. Mm -hmm. Like when a person meets you, they see a beautiful woman. That's what they see. Right. right? Mm -hmm. When I saw that person, I didn't know what I was looking at. <laughs> Based off of the name initially, too. I'm just, when I saw the person, I said, what kind of person is this? This is a new kind of person. But without the title of Jamie and somebody just knocked on your door, would it still have been so shocking? The part that's really, really shocking is that in those situations, I don't even know how to communicate because of my vocabulary, I'm a Southern person. I speak, mm -hmm. you know, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. So I speak. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden it's like, shit yeah. what do i say right it's oh it's not that hard mm -hmm. you want me to completely re rewire the way i've been speaking for 30 plus years mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's a that's a challenge yeah because you don't want to say no sir and then it'd be a man and then that now they're offended that's actually happened to me so it's like it was a real mm -hmm. thing wow. and this person had the whole get up and everything had a ball cap on was actually a cowboy hat i misgendered the person Goodness gracious, I don't yeah. know what games you're playing right now. And I right. say it's a game because if all of a sudden I just tell you I'm a 220-pound black woman, mm -hmm. you'll get mad at me. Yeah. Like, but you got a beard, man. Right. Come on, man. I can see I can see you bulging your pants. Why are you right. doing this for? But this is how I feel. We going off of feelings. Everything's so hyperactive and super sensitive. I don't even know I don't even know what this is. But then when they see, when they actually see a physically mature male. Slap the shit out of a white woman. They're like, holy, it's no more make pretend. They know what it is. Right. When they got these people in prison with these women and they're having babies in prison, like, how do you get pregnant by a woman? You can't. Mm -hmm. He has a penis. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I was incarcerated uh -huh. on my floor. I was on the sixth floor and I'm walking around and I come in. I said, man, I, I went to visitation. And when mm -hmm. I came back from visitation, I told one of my cellmates, I said, man, there was a big old woman on the having a visit. My nigga looked at me and said, that was no woman. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I said, goodness gracious, has some old gargantuan titties. I said, good Lord, <laughs> weave down to, to his back. I yeah. said, shit. Yeah. Holy. Mm -hmm. A whole new world. It is a whole new world. And I cannot even uh, articulate the shock that I'm having living in this whole new world. I'm just supposed to just be like, it's always right. been this way. It's disingenuous at best. And then they wonder why people are suffering from anxiety and, you know, all that super tension of trying to. I think this is a response to not having any actual power. Our lives have been so digitized. AI has come in and just changed the way we interact with people. Yeah. And so we're more isolated. Our phones control most of our lives. And so we're trying to find out who we are. Right. And extreme self-expression is mm. the way we say, I'm here. Yeah. I'm still a person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's some type of perverted idea of what a person is. Yeah. Because we... We don't engage in social norms. If we had regular social norms, 
I mean, you ain't finna walk into a group of ten of ten men behaving crazy because mm-hmm. they're gonna chastise you. I mean, hey, stop it. Right. We don't play like that. Right. Mm-hmm. And you're either gonna adjust or you're going to adjust. Right. <laughs> either way. <laughs> this, this is coming from <laughs> I've been in the military, I played sports. In every male dominated space, and hey, we have a thing to do, and we're gonna do the thing. How, yeah. How do you identify in a, in a place of confusion? Yeah. By being one hundred percent myself. Hey, man. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing, but good luck with that. I don't play that. You you're <laughs> ahead of the game because some of these teenagers they don't even have that. Who is self? Who, how am I gonna be me when I'm trying to figure out me? <laughs> Bi- biology works, you know. Like, that's the most beautiful thing. I have this wonderful digestive system so I can go eat these wonderful foods. And I'm like, man, that really tastes good because I have a tongue. Mm. Like, it was designed for this thing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, when you look in the mirror and you see that you have muscles, you know what I'm saying? That was designed for a reason. Right, when you go use right. the restroom and you see that tallywhacker hanging between your legs and them testicles, you yeah. be like, I got that for a reason. I'm supposed to go insert this thing inside of some right. good old Gina <laughs> and have me some beautiful children because... <laughs> Being a human is good. <laughs> Except the natural. Yeah. Yes. Except what's naturally driving you. Yeah. And and then when you change it, then you get these catastrophic events of a young man slapping a girl across the room. Yeah. Because she decided to say, I'm not going to abide by regular gender roles. I'm not. I'm just going to just say, I don't care that you're a boy. I'm going to hit you. Yeah. She didn't stay in her lane. And she when keeping point, it real. Goes, goes wrong. wrong. <laughs> 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 I laughed a lot because life is really hard. If you take this shit too seriously, you'll be stressed out and you'll yeah. be arguing on some on some nonsensical bias because you want to prove a point. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to prove no point. Don't put your hands in on man and don't get the shit slapped out of you. Yes. Facts. Don't don't say that, man. I love you so much that I want you to protect yourself. Protecting yourself means mm-hmm. respecting yourself, your environment, and the people around you. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, and and respect yourself enough to not invade somebody's space. That could possibly cause you harm. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.